So in summary, my presentation today was really finding the voice for our waterways. Um, in developing our water future, the role of waterways are very critical. And how do we get their voice? We need to monitor them. We need to understand them. We need to measure what is critical. And then we need to use those techniques to track how effective our solutions have been on our waterways. We need to listen, listen to them a bit more in developing solutions. There's a very critical role of communication, science communication, in how we package the results of our, our, our monitoring results of our waterways. Um, as one of the panelists have indicated, um, David for example, politicians tend to like looking at visuals. So, so the challenge for us there as researchers is to make our research palatable to the, to the, to the politicians. And the way we do that is by innovative visualization techniques that would hit the soft spot of the politicians so they're able to invest in making sure our waterways are protected and or restored. I probably would have three key messages. The first one is we have to recognize that our waterways and our rivers are complex systems. We need to have a, a whole of system approach. So when we do a solution downstream, we need to consider the upstream. So the upstream downstream correlation is critical. We've heard today about transboundary, how critical it is. So when we look at plans, we need to have plans that really are holistic in a way that they will address the whole system, but at the same time we'll have local aspects. The second message I have is we need to listen to our waterways and the way we do that is we need to monitor. Monitoring waterways is usually put in as a very expensive process, especially when we do the biophysical monitoring side, but it is very important for us to monitor our waterways, um, otherwise they will be deteriorating in front of us and we would never have even noticed that. The third one is probably more an appeal to, it's not enough to monitor, we really have to do something. So accelerate the integrated water resource management. Um, as one of the panelists have said, it's already happening. We just need to fast track it, fast track in such a way that it's actually faster, our solutions are faster than the problems, than, than the deterioration of our waterways. It's not enough to monitor our waterways, we need to have actions on the ground. We need to have solutions and we have to accelerate our solutions so that these solutions will be in play faster than our waterways are deteriorating. I would do the final appeal that in whatever we do, our waterways do need a voice and all we need to do is listen to it a bit more. There's also the voice of the community that actually live along the waterways and they are very critical for us to listen to because they're the ones that will be affected by any interventions we put in place.